One evening, Henry came back from pulling a goods train and he was very tired. Murdoch and Douglas had recently become puffed up in the smoke box because they had had pictures taken of them that were used in posters to advertise the Northwestern Railway's goods abilities. We're the most famous engines on the railway. Yes, we truly are. Oh, do be quiet. I'm tired and I'm trying to get some rest. What's the matter, Henry? Are you out of puff from pulling all one goods train? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Healthy Henry! Oh, shove off! The next morning, Henry awoke bright and early to pull the kipper. When he finished, he came back to Tidmouth to fetch a train. But before that, he went to get a nice warm drink. As he gulped down water, a workman ran over panting. Henry, I need you to take Murdoch's goods train to Vickerstown along with yours. Douglas derailed on the points outside of the sheds and has trapped Murdoch along with some other engines. Some other engines are handling the trapped engines trains, but I really need you to take yours as well as Murdoch's. But I'm already about to pull a goods train to Maron. I'm sorry, Henry, but this train is urgent. I have to pull both trains, I'm afraid. You can do it. I hope so. Once Henry's train was shunted, he set off for Marin and Vickerstone. Henry hopped his hardest as he thundered down the track. He was red in the face and panting like a dog. Meanwhile, the engines stuck in the sheds were letting their frustration out at Douglas. How can you be this clumsy? Coming from the one who nearly fell off a bridge on his first day. For your information- You've made me miss my express! This is why I deserve to be on most posters. Harvey was trying to look Douglas up off of the fence, but he was Set him down, Harvey. Why would I do that? Just do it. Gordon backed up a bit and then rammed into the back of the house, dropping clean off the points. Ouch! What was that for? I did what was best for all of us. They soon arrived at Marin, where Boko helped shunt part of Henry's train into a siding. After Henry's train was shunted, he was off again to Vickerstown with Murdoch's train. Good job, Henry. I'm really surprised you managed to pull Murdoch's train as well as your own. Henry was too tired to reply, so he just winked at Boko. Now that Henry had left some of his train, he had a bit more strength to pull Murdoch's train. Henry sat back down the line and then gradually got closer and closer to the bridge. I think we'll make it. Vickerstown came into view. Good job, old boy. I knew you could make it. Henry then uncoupled from his train and went to have a nice long drink. Rosie then puffed up.
I know you took Murdoch's train, but who took yours? Oh, I took mine, along with his. Rosie then stared at Henry dumbfounded as she scuttled off to sort his train.